Hi, I'm Kathy from the Delphiel Quilt Company. If you're new here, I love quilting and I share the projects I'm working on and how I made them. This video is actually part of a series this summer that I'm doing called the Slow Summer Star Series. Basically, it's going to be a sampler quilt of star blocks. So each week I've been releasing a different star block and then how I made them. If you're interested in following along, I do have a link on our website that's located at the top of the page called Slow Summer Stars Quilt. That will take you to where I have all of the cut instructions for each of the blocks and also a video of how to make the block. And I do release those every Sunday at 8 a.m. In August, I am going to start releasing them a little more frequently because there's 19 blocks total in the series. And I want to make sure I get them all in before summer's over. All right, let's get started with making this block number nine. So these are the fabric that I pick for block number nine. This can be my fabric A, fabric B, C, and of course the background fabric. And the cutting requirements for this block are from fabric A, one six inch square, four two and a half inch squares. From fabric B, one six inch square, two four inch squares. And from fabric C, one six inch square, and one four inch square. And then from the background fabric, we're gonna need a six inch square, three four inch squares, and four two and a half inch squares. All right, let's get started cutting our blocks here. All right, I'm just going to check to make sure that this is 10 inches. Not all layer cake squares are exactly 10 inches, so I just like to double check and make sure that I'm not going to end up short here. This one looks good with a little extra. First, I'm going to cut my 6 inch square. And I'm cutting a little bit bigger than 6 inches because I am going to cut off the fringe that's on the edge of the layer cake square. And then I'm going to just cut two and a half inch strip and then I'm going to cut it down into four two and a half inch squares. And if you're sewing along and using a layer cake, just make sure you save your scraps because we might need some of those later. All right, fabric B, this is gonna be tight as well. So I just wanna make sure that I have a true 10 inch square and I got a little bit more, which is great. First, I'm just gonna cut a four inch strip. And I'm going a little bit bigger so I can cut off that fringe. A six inch square. Okay, then fabric C, just one six inch square and one four inch square. And then I'll just cut my pieces from the background fabric. All right, let me show you the test block just so you can get a little preview of what we're gonna do here. So this looks like there is a lot going on and well, that's because there is, but it's not hard to sew because essentially this whole thing with the exception of some of these squares is made up of half square triangles. So we're gonna use two methods to make these. We're gonna use the magic eight method and the four at a time method. So I'm gonna start with the half square triangles that are made from fabric A. And with that, I need the six inch square of fabric A and the six inch of the background fabric. And we're gonna do this one as a magic eight. So basically we're gonna make eight half square triangles at a time. And we're gonna start by drawing a diagonal line from one corner to the next. I'm making sure that I have a nice sharp pencil. I'm drawing that line from point to point. And then I'm gonna turn it and repeat that. And I do like to put my ruler just a tiny hair bit below the points just to allow for the thickness of the pencil so my diagonal line's not off. And then right sides together. We are gonna put this right on top here. And I'm just gonna put a few pins to keep it in place. And then what we're gonna do next is we are gonna sew a quarter inch on both sides of the lines. And you do want to make sure you're using a scant quarter inch. All right, again, I'm just going to sew on both sides of the drawn lines. 
add a quarter inch from the line. And I'm just going to turn it and go right down the other side of that line. And then I'm going to repeat that on this other line here. Okay, I have my line sewn on here. And now I'm going to cut this halfway on both sides here. If you have a rotating mat, that makes this a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm, I know this block is six inches, so I'm just measuring three inches from this side. And then I'm cutting it right up the middle. And I'm going to carefully lift this up so I don't disturb it. Give it a turn. And same thing, three inches from this side here. And again, cutting right up the middle, lifting it carefully. And then I'm going to cut on the pencil lines that I drew earlier. And then, just like that, we have eight half square triangles. Now I'm going to press these towards the dark fabric. I'm just gonna go press these and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got these all pressed. Now I just need to trim them down so they're two and a half inches. I find with the Magic 8 method, I've gotta do a little more trimming than the four at a time method, which makes this just take a little bit longer, but I think the result is worth it. Okay, I've got these all trimmed up, and I'm going to do one more set of Magic 8 half square triangles, and that was with the 6 inch square from fabric B and fabric C. And just like I did before, I'm going to draw a diagonal line on both diagonals of the back of one of these squares. And then I'm just going to repeat the process that I did for the other set. Lay this on top, right sides together, pin in a few places, and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch along both sides of these lines. Okay, same thing like before. I'm gonna cut on the halfway mark on both sides. So three inches in again, and keeping it together, and then repeat that on the other side. And then I'm cutting on the pencil line. And again, I have eight half square triangles. I'm going to press these and trim these later, but for now, I'm going to move on to the other half square triangles. For our four at a time half square triangles, we're going to pair two of our four inch squares from fabric B, each with a four inch square of the background fabric, and then the four inch square from fabric C with the background fabric four inch square as well. And we want to make sure we line up the edges on these. And I'm going to put a pin in to keep them in place. And then to make these, then we're going to sew a quarter inch on all four sides of the squares. And you want to make sure that you're using a scant quarter inch because there really isn't much wiggle room on these sets. So I'm going to sew a quarter inch along the border and then I'll show you what to do next.
have all of my pieces sewn for the four at a time half square triangle method. And now I'm going to cut these on the diagonal from corner to corner. And again, I'm just carefully lifting up my ruler to keep those pieces together. I'm going to give it a turn. And then I'm going to repeat from the other set of corners. And then I'll have four half square triangles. And I'm just going to repeat that on the other two. Now I'm just going to press these and I'm going to press them towards the print fabric. And then I'm going to just make sure they're two and a half inch square and I'm going to trim off the dog ears. If you're wondering why I didn't use the Magic 8 for these eight half square triangles, it's because I'm using a layer cake and I knew I couldn't cut two six inch blocks out of one layer cake square. So I opted to do two of the Magic 4 instead. Okay, now we're ready to lay this block out. All right, so I'm just going to sew this in sections, probably sections of two. And as I go, I'm just going to make sure that I am pressing the seams opposite direction of the next section I'm going to sew it onto, just to make sure that they nest nicely. There's going to be a lot of seams in this, so you just want to make sure you're careful as you're ironing and sewing them together. All right, I'm going to go sew this, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. And there we have block number nine. So this one wasn't too hard to make, it just took a little bit of time. And I realized as I was making this block that it looks just like the star on my quilt design wall. And if you're curious about that design wall, I do have a video. I'll link that in the show notes in case you want to see how that one came together. All right, let's just do a little review of the stars that we've done so far in this series. Here's block one, block two, block three, block four, block five, block six, block seven, and also my personal favorite so far, block eight. And finally, black nine. So I hope that you liked this video. If you haven't yet, please visit us at delfieldquiltco.com and consider subscribing. Have a great day.